Hello everybody and welcome to Cooking with Lane and Rob. The Q&A that we did was not a big success, so we're going to try something else. Uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, why? Because cooking is Lane's passion. You know, I really love it. He really, really loves cooking. Now, I totally suck at cooking and I am one of those pussies that does not eat any animal products. So yes, I'm a vegan. So look at the rabbit show here. Lane is going to teach me how to make a proper meal. And in these Corona days, well, you know, maybe you go to the restaurant. So maybe you'll learn a thing or two as well. You know, I'm super excited because I'm really, really insecure about cooking. So, um, at first, Take we're, gonna, it away, we're gonna start with dressing you up, okay? I'm gonna give you some stuff. Oh, oh dear. So, that you will be a proper cook, and that you don't... So, here you go, put this one on. I got some secure knives here that you don't... Gonna cut yourself. Where's the front? Uh, I don't think it matters. Yeah, it's got a V-neck. <laughs> Let's start cooking! <laughs> you cannot go wrong with the okay. right looks, man. I'm gonna get my knife. Are you fucking with me? These are secure knives. They are actually really sharp. These are children's knives. I know. Let's start with that. <laughs> so, what we're gonna do? We're going to do something really, really simple. We're going to do something that we can cook in the oven. So we're going to start with prepping the oven. We're going to put it at 180 degrees. So what is it in Fahrenheit? 350 Fahrenheit. Fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, this is preheating. So here we have our ingredients. We have peppers. We have rainbow carrots. Why are they rainbow carrots? Because they have different colors. So how do they get the different colors? I really do not know. They just grow them. <laughs> we got some pumpkin. We got some potatoes. We got some fennel. We got some onions. Wait, today's a thing. <laughs> Broccoli. Broccoli. We got I'm some broccoli. I'm always a little scared of these, man. They because it kind of look like a heart. And this is one of those ingredients that when I'm in the supermarket, I'm like, fuck that shit, man. That, that just looks too complicated. Yeah, because I think that's the thing when you cook, I get scared of ingredients I have never seen before, or worked with before, so this is gonna be super interesting. The, the thing is, with cooking, don't be scared. Just put, because you can, every vegetable you can put into this dish. So just what you like, put it in there. And we're gonna to make two versions. One version is going to be with beautiful rosemary. We have some garlic here and we have some olive oil. That's actually it. With a little bit of pepper, a little bit of uh, salt, that's going to be it. The second version is going to be with something that's called harissa. You can just buy it in the jar. This is rose, uh, rose harissa. Okay, so we're going to start by boiling some water. I actually know how to do that. Yeah? Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, start with the potatoes. Because what we, what we want from the potatoes in the oven is that they're going to get really crispy from the outside and really soft from the inside. That's what everybody wants. Like right? me. <laughs> <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're just going to cut it once. <laughs> That's kind of man, right? Are you all ready to up for the big leagues? I come on, they, they okay, go, like, I'm going come to get on, give me a proper knife, man. <laughs> hey, I got the same knife, man. We got this knife from the Mizutani guys. Mizutani, yes. Yeah. We're not sponsored or anything, <laughs> but you know Mizutani. Okay, now we're just going to take the onions. Do we, do, we, do we put it in the left corner? Uh, yeah. Okay. 
Take that off once. You don't take the twice. You don't take the. Yeah, but then it's easier to take it off. Oh. See? See, I am actually learning a lot already. Now you just can peel it off really easy. So it's only the little dry skin, right? Yeah. Okay, because I always take off like one. Yeah, extra. well, sometimes it depends on the onion. Sometimes it doesn't go off really well, and then you just lay, put a layer off. But that's not really an issue. So with potatoes, the thing is, we're going to boil them for like five minutes, not more, just to prepare them. Then it's going to be easier in the oven because we, we have to shake them so that they're going to be like all fucked up uh, on the outside because that's going to be the crusty bit from the potato. Okay, the fennel. Real easy. That's it. Okay, so... This, is, this has like a super strong taste, right? Um, no, if it's been 50 minutes in the oven, it's because you have sweet, you have... Uh, this is like a little... Um, bittery, licorice, licorice, licorice right? Uh, so you have you have like different tastes in there because else it's going to be like really boring. I find that the hardest, man, because you know I always cook with a cook because I have literally have no basic knowledge of uh, cooking, and 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 this is for me always a, a lot of my dishes turn out boring. So before you start, you actually go like bitter sweet. Uh, well, it's just, uh, you just, because this is a little bitter. Sprouts. The, the, no, it's a cold, what, what's it called? Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts, yeah. Brussels sprouts. The, so you have a little bit of everything of the taste. And we're just going to take a half But, of, but that's how you shop. That's how I shop. Okay. So just put it in. We can already put those in. We can put these in. We can put the onions in. I, I, I feel uncomfortable with the big chunk. Why? I, I just cut it up. One more? It doesn't matter. Right. It feels more natural. I don't know. We can put a little bit of this in. Always against the green. You can put in the onions. You can put in like a couple of cauliflower or a... He's so specific, isn't he? I love it when he takes over, when he takes the wheat. Hoppa. We don't cut the, the, the no, carrots. I'm, I'm not... really uncomfortable with that too. Yeah, just cut them. If you want to cut them. But well, don't cut them. The thing is, um, if you're going to cut them uh, in half, after 50 minutes, they're going to be burnt. So... Also these, this is more than enough. Because now the size of everything is a little bit the same. Dude, I had no idea. I normally chop up everything like super fine because I think the flavors mix more. No. I'm completely wrong about that. Yeah. The, the, I'm actually wrong about that. But are, are you putting it in the oven for 50 minutes then as well? I because have, then it's going to be burnt. I have never used my oven. Oh really? Wow. <laughs> So now we're going to put in potatoes, just for a couple of minutes. You like it? Yeah, I like it. I, I'm worried. I, I never heard this before. I would never put a whole carrot in, 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 in the oven. Don't ask me how. Oh. Yeah, I know. But I'm going to also make a little chicken. I'm going to make it on the side, because I want him to taste both versions. It's a sexy Lego. It's a little bit of pepper. Then we're going to marinate it. And a little bit of harissa. And this is also going to need 50 minutes in the oven. And the outside is going to be really crunchy, and the inside is going to be really tender, just like raw. <laughs> okay, so this has been boiling for a couple of minutes. 
So you never work with a clock? It's just like feeling? Uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's more feeling than something else. You know what I'm really, you know what I find the hardest? To time everything. Because I always that is end hard. up, I always end up with, I mean now I've learned, and I'm, and I'm 46 years old, I know it sounds a little stupid, now I've actually learned that I always have to make sure all my uh, ingredients are chopped before I start cooking. The mise en place. What? The mise en place. The mise en place. Yes. Yeah, well, that's really important because I struggled with that a few years ago as well. Because then you have like 10 things to do and then you have to time everything. It's driving me nuts. Yeah. This and then everything hard. fails. Yeah, because you know, the, the veggies are too soft and then I'm like... Now, if you take a look at it, it's beaten a little bit. Just a little bit and that's more than enough. But the more that you do it, the crunchier they're going to get. You see the starch? That just came off the potatoes. So now we're just going to put them on top. Just a few. And now, Rob, this is yours. Okay. We're going to put in the garlic whole because. After 50 minutes, this is going to be really soft and sweet from the inside. And you can just push, put it, push it out. Just put it in there. And yeah. now you can... Uh, that's a lot of garlic. garlic. Yeah, that's, that's the... Well, it's, got, it, it's not a garlic... I, I, I love garlic. Yeah, but it's not going to be garlicky. It's like really sweet and just a little bit of garlic uh, flavor. Okay. Just put, 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 take it here as far as possible that you still have something and then you just take it off and this is taken off so take one as far as possible that you can still grab it and then just bomb that's it that's everything that you need and it doesn't really matter if there is a little bit of the stem <laughs> just put a little bit of and I want one of those salt because that looks absolutely that looks so professional. If I have one of these, I'm going to look so much more professional <laughs> in the kitchen, man. I was a little bit fed up with the... No, I get it. I made soup the other day. A little I, bit of olive oil, sorry. I was making peanut soup and it was turning out so great. I put a lot of work in it. I went to the, to, the, to the toko to buy all the ingredients and it was turning out really good. I bought some really cool Himalayan salt because I read something about it. So I try, I try to unscrew the thing to do above the soup and, the, and, and it breaks. So the whole, I'm not joking, it was new, it was, and I was like, maybe if I don't touch it, it'll sink to the bottom. A little work. bit of olive oil, and then the rest is going to be the harissa. And now, so I don't get any harissa because no. you're putting the chicken in there, right? Uh, no, I'm not putting the chicken in here, but it's going to be two versions. Arissa, and that's uh, with uh, garlic and rosemary. And now, oh. just cover everything. Just. But I don't have harissa. What do I do? No, but make? the olive oil has oh. to be uh, everywhere. And the, the rosemary has to be everywhere. So now we mixed up everything really well. This is the good part. <laughs> it's kind of erotic almost, right? Or is, or is it just me? <laughs> and this is actually it for now. We're going to put it in the oven. <laughs> Just put it down there in the oven. And it doesn't touch the sides. Perfect. And this is going to take. 50 minutes. 15 or 15? 50. 50. 50. 50 minutes, guys. Yeah, at 180 degrees, 350 Fahrenheit, gas, stand, I think three or four, I don't know really. This is this is going to be done, so this is like the, the, the complete meal um, that's going to be done, but we have 50 minutes, so we're going to make another dish. Okay, so Everything's in the oven now for 50 minutes, so we're going to do a quick little pasta. 
It's going to be a tuna pasta, so Rob's not really happy, but he's going to help me with cutting the vegetables part of it. So that's right. Hey, hey being a vegan is all about love, man. Love, okay. love, love. Yeah, I turned into a goddamn hippie. <laughs> but you know, I got my nice non-alcoholic beer here. First, uh, let's see if this is going to work. So what do I do? Okay, so first we need to prep the garlic. This has to be chopped up really, really fine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do one just so that you can see what I'm doing. And this in the middle, turn it, and also in the middle. You see? And then the thing that you do is this. So we don't take out the seeds? No. Why do we not? Well, you can, but I don't see why. Uh, because you want heat, then you want heat. This is not super hot, but I like real spicy. Okay, but you know when I eat too spicy, it hurts my mouth, it hurts my asshole the next day. So <laughs> if... Then you can t take them out. Or you just you just use like a, a half a half of it. Okay, because it is the seeds that make the it seeds spicy, right? That's what makes it spicy. What really spicy? Then if if you take out the seeds, you are just gonna get the flavor of the chili. Yeah. That's it. Okay, I have some pasta here. That's gonna take about six minutes. And this is bucatini. And uh, there is like a little hole in there. And this takes out the flavor really well. <laughs> um, it takes six minutes. I tried this with a whole wheat pasta because usually I use whole wheat pasta, but this dish is not nice with whole wheat pasta. So I'm going to put it in. Because of the flavor or structure? Uh, structure. And it works with 99% of the pastas that I make, but with some it just doesn't work. Okay, wait. What we're going to try to do. I just want to teach you a little bit, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to make one more. Because that knife has, a, just like a scissor, it has a ledger. So what we're going to do is, we're going to do this. Can you do this? And then put your, because now you have the possibility to cut off your, <laughs> yeah, do it like this. So this. Okay, that is. Now I'm going to cut up my knuckles. Uh, that's, that's actually not really possible. Well, you, you, you can. I you know who you're talking to, I right? Know, I know, I know. That's true. Dude! Look at that! That's awesome! <laughs> now we're going to do the same. What? The, I have two! With the garlic? Yeah, I already did two. Garlic, just like this. And you can peel it really, really easy. And then we just do the same. You don't take off the... Nope. I never actually do. Why? Well, you don't really taste it. But you can if you want I, to. I get uncomfortable. <laughs> I get uncomfortable. <laughs> so this is like slicing, right? Yeah. And you hold it like this too? Yeah, well, you can also put it on yeah. with your fingers. That's really nice. That's really good. The thing that you should try to prevent is this finger, because this is more natural. This is. What, wait a minute. What's more natural? This. Okay, hold it like that. Thirty years of holding a, a scissor, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start. Yeah, I'll be done in a while. Just a little bit of olive oil. Now we have some anchovies here. Don't be scared of that, because the anchovies is only for seasoning. You're not gonna uh, taste any anchovies in it, but it's just f to flavor the pasta. We're going straight in. It's gonna be like really hot. Like that. The other likes that as well. If you're done, you can just put it in there. We're gonna take like three or four of these, and you will see that they're going to disappear. Capers. Just like which in Dutch is copper dish, which means hairdressers. Funny fact, 
tool goes. You can put it in Rob. Opa! You can already see that the anchovies is disappearing. So that it's just going to be about flavor. I'm going to put in just a few tomatoes. That's for a little bit of acidity. For what? Acidity. Acid. The zuurtje. Zuurtje. Nou, de al die jelle toch vooruit gaan nodig. Oké. En ik wil even een look into the pan now. The answer is completely gone. Look at him go, man. Also, well, my opinion is that if you make a pasta dish, it's about the pasta. That's like the main dish. Everything else has to make the pasta, but the pasta is the main ingredient. So don't put too much in there. A little bit of salt. A little bit of pepper. I like pepper. So a little bit more. Because we're almost done. I'm just going to take a little bit of our rocket salad, put it aside, and maybe you can cut this one and just put it in. Like the juice. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it! Ik heb de tip niet tegen pitjes. Ah, hier. Dat moet ik in de seeds, right? If you do that, just do it like this, and then the seeds will stay in your hand, <laughs> and the juice will fall out. <laughs> and then just. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you don't know it, I think I know it. Yeah, man. Now, <laughs> I know. I know. Okay, let's I see know. if the pasta is, is good. No, not yet. Another minute. I really like the pasta al dente. If you don't like that, just leave it in a couple of minutes more. But I really like the structure of the pasta, that it's still pasta and not just soft goo. Al dente. Al dente. That means it slides at your fork, right? Or, or what? Dente, what's that? Uh, al dente, yeah, well. Is it teeth? Dente. To all our Italian viewers, what does it mean? Al dente. Is it? Let's Google it. <laughs> you know what? Be right back. Okay. See, it is. To the tooth. Yeah, well, that makes sense. Firm to the bite. Because to that is tooth. still firm. Yeah. So we got that one. This is ready. Pasta is going to be ready. And then everything has to come together. We're going to put in the pasta. And what's really important is that you take a lot of water of the pasta as well, because it's starch. And the starch is going to make the sauce. So we're going to put it in. Also, water. I had no idea. Then we're going to put in some rocket. Just some plain rocket. 
So we have cooked rocket and we have fresh rocket. If you see that you don't have enough juice in there, just take a little bit more water with from the starch because it has to get like real sil silky at the end. Okay. I'm gonna break up tuna. This is already cooked, so it doesn't need any time. Uh, yeah. Gracias. De nada. Al dente. Al dente. Okay. Put it through a little bit. I see that I still need a little bit more of the water. How do you see that? Because it's almost gone. You see? Oh, okay. And now I just put in a few, and you see that the sauce is starting to get a little bit silky. You see that? No. Well, you got to see it in a few. What is silky? What do you well, mean? it's going to be like silky soft. Now, this is hard, and if you take a look, if, it, it's going to change. The sauce is going to change. Just give it a few minutes, a few seconds. Maybe a minute. I'm going to plate it up. And now, just to add a little bit more to the pasta, because we just put some lemon in here, that's it. I'm just going to put a little bit of rocket on top. Take a little bit of the good olive oil. The extra vergine, vergine. Just put it over there. And man, you got a really nice dinner. <laughs> so, this is it. Okay guys, it's been 15 minutes, 50 minutes, 50, 5 oh. I'm gonna take a look at it, how it looks now. Take a uh, Just to be sure, I can put it right on the... Yeah, you can put it on the... Right? I feel like a real cook. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you should smell this. Now, if you take a look at it, it looks like it's burned, but it's just charred. And that's all flavor. All the cheese. You see this? You see the potatoes? How crunchy they are? It's charred. It's all flavor. Look at this chicken. Just 50 minutes. And it's like, you hear that? And it's juicy from inside. So this is a variation of the same dish. Just gonna taste so, really different. So how, what about the... Yeah, well you just put them on the side. And then... I'm going to take a spoon or fork 
Look what it does. Yeah. Can you film this? Look what it does. Oh. But taste it. Just taste it like it is. It's like really sweet. Oh, that's really good. That's like good, eh? That's really good. <laughs> So you just take a little it bit of the... It doesn't... It tastes like garlic anymore. It's like really sweet. That is really... Underneath. Real. But if you take just a little bite of that with, with every bite that you take, it's, it's going to totally transform the dish. That tastes crazy good. So, plated it up. Put it on the table. So we got the pasta here as well. And now we're just gonna invite the neighbors. Wait one second because I forgot one thing. I have some wine with it. Well, Rob doesn't drink alcohol anymore, but I have an alcohol-free beer for him. But I really think that the Viognier doesn't really matter what. Viognier really is good with all these dishes. Because it's a little flowery, a little acidic in there, so it's going to be beautiful. And now we're going to taste it. So, I think, uh, so before we uh, start tasting it, this was really, really fun to make. Above all, it was really easy, and as you can tell, you know, it's the little tricks that make it easy. There were a lot of tricks that I didn't know about, and I feel more secure of making this at home for my girlfriend and myself. Uh, I don't know how many uh, people will be watching this, but this was so much fun to make. <laughs> it was really fun. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to do this. Again, so if you uh, if you want to see the next cooking with Lynn and Rob, <laughs> and Rob, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's some hair uh, shit on there as well. But <laughs> forget forget it. about the hair. Forget about the hair, man. This is gonna be this is gonna be the new this is gonna be the new thing, man. Well, we're gonna enjoy dinner. Uh, well, actually, it's, yeah, it's uh, breakfast. For me. <laughs>